Okay, here we go. It's day, we're not really sure, of nope. quarantine. It might be Saturday. I don't know. But we are making a goza. It's super fun. Haven't done it before. And this is our sour mash. You have to make it three days before. And it's supposed to be like wild bees. So whatever bacteria is going in your house. We did not want that to happen because we don't know what's all up in here. So we added probiotic tablets as recommended from the guys from Brewery Lane. See, and we're not mad at Brewery Lane. <laughs> <laughs> and we put it in here and it smells awful. Uh, yeah, it look, doesn't look all that great either. So we're gonna just like add it to our mash now. Oh wow. That looks disgusting. So while Aaron stirs the mash, uh, we'll just fill you in on what's going on. We're in the middle of a global pandemic, which also canceled or postponed, hopefully, the um, craft beer festival. So that's what we're going to be drinking oh, today. I shouldn't be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? We may never get out of here. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, making a beer. Uh, suddenly our state of emergency beer seems um, a little not so emergency -y. Uh, we have a lot of recycling back there because recycling has stopped. But uh, hopefully this beer will turn out and we'll meet again, we'll meet people again to drink it. So we mentioned we were supposed to be at a craft beer festival tonight. Um, so we're gonna sort of celebrate by drinking from our 12 beers of Christmas glasses that we got at the last one. I'm not sure if there were supposed to be glass with this one or not, but I guess we'll find out whenever it happens again. And you told me I talk too much in these, so I'm gonna try to speed up a little <laughs> I didn't bit. mean that was like a horrible thing. Uh, so we have a little, we saw on Instagram today from the Craft Brewery Festival that some of the beers that were gonna be released from uh, tonight and last night uh, were brought to the liquor stores. So we placed an online order cause gotta be safe and we picked up some of these. This is Seeing Citra from Trailway Brewing Co. I haven't had anything from there before. I don't know if you have. Nope. Um, they're in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and we are supposed to go to a wedding this summer. Oh, look how juicy it looks. I keep it juicy for you. Uh, we're supposed to go to a wedding this summer, so we may get to visit Trailway, depending on uh, if life depend returns back to normal. Oh, it looks really good. Mm. Smells good too. BRB with the review. <laughs> and we're back. Cheers. Cheers. Social distance. Mmm. That's a very nice citrusy taste. Mmm. This is like what I look for. Yeah. Uh, the lady mm. at the liquor store told us that this was expensive because they were $13 for two of them, but it's totally worth it. Mm. I kind of wish we got more. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Mm hmm. Mmm. Really, super juicy. Really big fan of this. Citrusy, very mild bitterness. It's really good. Let's follow them on Instagram now. Next up, we definitely have one we would have tried tonight at the Craft Beer Festival. Mm -hmm. It's called Squeeze Play. <laughs> it's a pomegranate sour. I love is it Squeeze Play? Yes. Yeah, oh, it play. is. Okay, the way you looked made me think that. Uh... No, that was. Uh... <laughs> okay, so we picked up two cans of this. Uh, some of the the left field, left field brewery. We only picked up one to split, but. Yeah, Aaron says he loves pomegranate, oh, and that smells really good. we had to get two. We should have more. Well, if they don't sell out, we could order online. Let's see how this looks. Mmm. That looks delicious. Uh, I love pomegranate. It's like one of my favorites. I'm very excited, uh, and I wish we had some. Mm, that smells lovely. It pairs well with red licorice which is meh but blue cheese i die for a sticky cheese and it looks like you're dying for this mm -hmm. sour oh yeah that hits all the spots on your tongue oh it's really sweet and like sweet smelling but really tart which i really like mm. so good 
This time, uh, two crows. Oh, this should be this side. Matinee Tiny Hoppy Pale Ale, which I'm excited about because I'm a big fan of pale ales. We visited Two Crows back in April of 2019, which seems like forever ago. Uh, we went on a brewery trip to Halifax that was sort of last minute, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and it was super fun. We visited, I think, over a dozen places when we got there, right? And we really like Two Crows. We're gonna work in the OOTB. Uh, speaking of our trip to Halifax, we uh, visited Good Robot Brewing Company, which was my favorite. I think it was your favorite as mm -hmm. well. I'm also wearing- Her tie house was my uh, favorite. Also wearing this shark shirt that I feel is citrusy. It goes with there, it goes. Uh, Cause we were gonna make this beer for the summer, uh, for our birthdays, which are at the end of June. But who knows if we're celebrating birthdays this year. Ooh, it smells really nice. Mmm. Oh, it's good? super, yeah, it's super good. It's uh, a little bit hoppier than the, um, who was that, the beginning? The Citra. The Frederick Kim one? Yes, that we had in the beginning, sorry. And, um, but yeah, it's really, it's, it's juicy, but hoppier. Tiny and hoppy, maybe. <laughs> And I'm wearing a bootleg shirt. Yes, and bootleg is also uh, a favorite in this household. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we'll get to visit them soon. We had a friend, uh, a coworker of mine, bring us some bootleg beers, buy us some bootleg beers this year. Ooh, I currently have a coworker who is stranded in, not stranded, but went home to quarantine in Cornerbrook. So I might be like, hey, girl, mm -hmm. you want to get us some beer? See what you think of it. It smells lovely. Yeah, it, oh. it does. <laughs> it has that like two crows yeast flavor or smell. Mm. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? That's really nice. I also meant to uh, give a shout out to Good Robots uh, El Espinizo del Diablo, I think, their Mexican lager, which was so good. And I wanted to bring it home, but they weren't in cans at the time and they were not, uh, I mean, there was no point for us to get a growler and bring it on a plane. So yeah, too bad. So, oops. In an effort to try and streamline the process of brewing and get supper ready, I accidentally burned our I threw citrus. Them out. Uh, These are new ones. Yes. They're not fully dehydrated but they have to go in. You know, get the vitamin C to fight the COVID. That was really dumb of me, but at the beginning of the brew, you were supposed to put the peels in the oven, dry them out, and have them ready to put in at this point. But I, we're making mac and cheese, which we'll show you in a bit, but uh, preheated the oven and forgot those things were in there, so. <laughs> Maybe that means it'll be more citrusy? Probably. We have said the cold crash though. Yeah. So now that that debacle is over, we are adding the coriander and the sea salt. Get that bit salty. And coriander-y. And now we cold crash. I think in our last video, we went out and shoveled some snow and use that in the ice bath. So the, I think in the last video, we talked about how there was almost no snow left. Since then, we've had a snowstorm <laughs> and then a ton of rain. And there is again, almost no snow left. And during this whole thing, I've come to the conclusion that God hates Newfoundland. Yeah. So that's fine. He hates us all. Yes. It's Old Testament God. Yeah. Plague. So, so we were supposed to, so we got the beer brewed. We're gonna show you what we're gonna eat now in a second. And um, we were supposed to go to be at the Craft Beer Festival tonight. And, and then, then go to the Lady Gaga dance night. Yeah, so that's sad. But we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. The brew's done, despite my mess up. Hopefully it turned out okay. Uh, so today we made a slow cooker mac and cheese with some kitty bitty dry Irish stout, which I thought was the uh, session 
lager Ooh. and I accidentally bought it. So we made mac and cheese with that and we poured some pulled chicken over the top of it with barbecue sauce and some more stout along the lines of the lovely mac and cheese I had at the Upstreet Barbecue Brew House when we were there in April. And I guess we got a approval there. Mm -hmm. Good, so enjoy, hopefully, whenever you see this and we bottle this beer and we publish the video, all this weirdness is over and people can drink the beer and have fun. Bye.